baby. What's up, guys? It's Alec Mac 111. Welcome back to the first giant unboxing of a collection in 2021. It has been honestly like a month and a half since I've done a collection unboxing. So today, I am unboxing Sean's collection. Sean reached out to me on Instagram, which is how a lot of you guys do. They're like, hey, I'm looking to sell my collection. And so I bought it. We worked out a deal. But before I get into the unboxing, there are two more people that I need to do giveaways for. Alrighty, so here we are. These are actually back in some of the beginning comments. You can see me scrolling. You see right there, she's scrolling up and down. If you've commented at any time in the last week, I'm only accepting comments that were there for like the first week because those of you guys that have been there and are loyal and watch them when they drop, I'm going to obviously give you guys more incentive to win it. So like I said, whoever finger it lands on, we are going to pick. Let me make sure I got all the way. We'll start at the bottom first this time. So those of you start at the bottom and I'm just going to scroll a little bit. So, whoop, up, and stop. 516, I don't know how to pronounce it. You should have 1 million subscribers. Ah, so you know who you are? Message me and you'll win. Cow, Cowan Hin? 516 Cowan Hin. When did this turn into pronunciation video? <laughs> All right, so that is who won from YouTube. Now we'll go to Instagram. All right, here we are on Instagram. Like you can see, I'm going all the way through here. You have about a 1% chance of getting it right. Like I said, I will not accept people that have commented in the past few days. It was only that one week that it was up, which most of you guys comment. There's about 100 of you. I think it was 109 last week that were good. So one of you guys is going to win whatever you want optic wise. This is a great way that I can give back to you and I appreciate it. Definitely a lot smaller list. So here we go. No looking randomly and bam. Call sign poison. How's the current bit going for you? Still sharp. I hope love the HPA guns. My question for you is what are you planning to do with that non blowback made by KJW? So I actually ended up selling the KJW. I already sold that. I sold it like a week ago, but Brandon, you win. You were the third comment. So I picked you and go crazy. And we back at it. So we're going to do the same thing. If you guys guess the right number, it will end in a zero. I'll give you that. We're not going to do fives anymore. Just end the zero. I think two people won it last time. So if you end it in a zero and you guess correctly, how much I spent on this, not how much it's worth. Cause obviously it's probably going to be worth a little bit more than I spent on it. Hopefully that would be with any, Thing that you kind of do you're hopefully buying something that's worth a little bit more especially if I'm buying in the bulk that I am which you guys are about to see because this is about to be some bulk I do really miss that other knife that was actually pretty good honestly I miss having a table I have that little tiny thing in Indiana that's just this little tiny dresser that I actually got from the people that moved out downstairs so having the home table, one of you guys commented like, yo, is that Alec Max old basement? Yes, I am back home in Columbus for Christmas break. You're a real OG. That means you've been around for a while. All right, let's start out with the helmet. So up first, it looks like we have some sort of Emerson helmet. This one, I believe, is an Emerson. Most of these that are made kind of by Evike are Emerson, or they're all made in the same factory in China anyway. It does have the basic pattern. It doesn't look like it's made from Emerson based on the markings. Usually Emerson will mark their stuff, but it feels like a normal kind of cheaper helmet. But these are actually really nice, especially the ones with the holes. It does help when you're playing airsoft. Um, it'll work a little bit better because you kind of get some breeze through it, but you can get shot through these holes. Comment below if you've ever gotten shot through one of these holes. It's happened twice to me in all my airsoft time playing. It absolutely sucks. I don't know if it's like I'm here or there, but somehow, dude, just getting, mm, it did not feel good. And then it looks like he has done the same thing that I do with most of these mesh masks. He's actually done a really good job with the taping on this as well. So it looks like he's running that and we'll see his goggles next. Maybe the goggles are in here, but they're not in the rest of it. Ooh, huh. that's a, a pretty case right there, isn't it? That's actually pretty similar to my real Glock case, to be honest. It's definitely a little bit lower quality, but here is oh, some of you guys are probably disappointed some of you guys are probably excited i'm excited because when i see a tokyo Mori high kappa it is always a good time but i do appreciate that he put this actually might be a real glock case not gonna lie it does feel a little bit different it might be an older gen than my real one but it looks like it's real i don't know if it would be one from the elite force locks but there is his tokyo Mori 5.1 high kappa dude this thing is absolutely gorgeous he has hpa tapped this magazine he just left it Pretty much basically stock on the outside, but he does have some upgrades internally. Probably should have shown you guys that before I took it apart. But thankfully, you boy quick with the trigger on those high kappas. It looks like he has a short stroke thing here. It does look like it is a stronger strip spring. Absolutely. Definitely has a stronger hammer and recoil spring. Quicker, more rapid follow-up shots. 
every time you pull the trigger, it's going to get there a little bit quicker and it's going to cycle a little bit quicker with the stronger spring as well as this buffer in here. And I don't think he's done any more upgrades to it other than that. Speaking of high cap, as I'm actually working out a deal with one of my buddies, Sutton, I am going to be having my personal Alec Mac 111 custom high cap of built he is building it for me we're kind of going to work out i think i'm going to do some sort of little surprise and let him kind of tweak out some of the things that he wants but we're we've been he's been a subscriber for a while to my channel and he actually runs a pretty successful um high cap of business it's la cap of customs for those of you that have, do not know and we're looking to partner together so i'm excited and if you guys want to see a custom pistol stay tuned because it's my birthday's february 19th i'm thinking somewhere around then Little sneak peek. All right, so before we get into the giant bag, we have two 48 3000s. I believe these are both in hydro. That one is, and this one is as well. Actually, they were bought like literally a month apart, but this one's an amp and this one's a ninja. These are great starter tanks. And now to the goods. Starting up first, we have a speed QB belt. These are actually super cool. I got one of these back in the day. And obviously, I don't play a ton of Speed QB, or I have not in the past. For those of you who know, I've grown up mostly with a Milsim background. Speed QB didn't exist when I played Airsoft during the Prime days. It was all Milsim, or you were just like a casual. There was nothing really in between. There was no super operators running around with the... Brrr. It was like 25 RPS was like, whoa, dude, chill. And now it's like you can shoot people with 50 rounds a second. It's pretty funny. I see some of these big events out in LA where they run full auto only. And honestly, kind of want to do that. Maybe eventually. The patches he has over here, I'll actually show a close-up of those. Those actually look super cool. He's got three M4 mag pouches that he's running on his left side. Some super cool pouches. He's got the Speed QB dump pouches. I believe these come with each of the belts. This one is a small or medium. I think it's the same one that Jared wears. And then it looks like he's got some sort of IFAC pouch here. Some sort. I don't know exactly what he was carrying in there. It looks like it's kind of IFAC size. But it's a five-star gear pouch. Probably just like his phone or random stuff that he had. But he does not have any high cap of mag pouches, which I'm a little bit curious of. Maybe he was just running the one, um, or he had a different system, maybe to hold his mags. Ooh, up next, some of you will be super hyped. Dude, I love these Die I-4s. These things are super cool. I've never actually had a Die I-5 in my possession, but I've had like three or four of these Die I-4s that I've gotten, and they sell right away because people absolutely love, love them. He's got his Extreme Tronics patch right there. Um, this one's pretty cool. It does look like the lens is a little bit scratched, but those of these, honestly, they do a pretty good job, even if the lenses are kind of scratched to get through them. Um, and I believe you can replace the lens on this if you want to do a different color, but these are really, really nice masks. If I played Speaky B, I would probably use this. This orange wrapping paper that you guys have been using, I actually had somebody use the exact same one. I'm not sure where you're getting it, but I think it is cool because orange is my favorite color. And my man looks like he's running over here with a ninja rubber ducky. So I don't know if he decided to add a charm for Modern Warfare or Cold War, but he's literally got a charm right there. That's, I don't know any other way to explain it other than a charm, but this is a Polar Star Crytac. Man, these are pretty cool. Uh, like most speed softers, he has taken out the charging handle. That is just kind of a thing I see almost every speed softer do. And even almost everybody with HPA is just like, all right, charging handle, nah, it just gets in the way. It's useless. I know sometimes it doesn't allow for fitment with HPA engines. How does this not, that's honestly kind of cool. I love the idea, but how does that not get in the way when you're like, I guess if you're not moving your gun off it. Looks like he's done the good old no trigger spring in there as well. Um, it is a jack. Jacks obviously are the cheapest engines on the market, but they do shoot pretty well. I like the short rail system on here. I love these AFGs on these shorter rails. I hope he included a flash hider. If not, I'll probably put one on myself or maybe like a little bit of suppressor or tracer unit on it but he's got some cool stickers on here as well stream tronics crytac die and then the polar star jack logo otherwise it's just a pretty much a plain um crytac trident i don't know if this is the mark one or the mark two it's got the defiance i believe this is a mark two he must have just changed the trigger does look like the lower over here did snap a little bit it looks like he lost his trigger guard i don't know if that was intentional i know some fields actually require you to have a trigger guard so you're not like spamming or some of those kids do but cool gun nonetheless Alrighty, belt number two. So my man didn't have any sort of chest rig or anything from what I'm telling. It looks like this might have been his pistol belt. This one looks like just some sort of basic condor um, belt of some level. He doesn't have anything on his left side. He's probably running like a holster there. Maybe. Well, that's the right side. Okay, so he's running his holster here. That's a little bit weird how it's... Wait. <laughs> My man literally rigged his belt upside down. The pouches. All right, so I was kind of confused, but my man literally rigged his belt upside down. So normally this is how it sits on your back. Um, unless he was purposely running the mags upside down, but I believe he was running it like this. So you had your everything on here. Yeah, because the dump pouch is like this. He's got his holster right here and the mag pouch is here. 
but he's running everything upside down. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. Yeah, let me know if you guys think that this is upside down, but usually you have your little H harness that can kind of get at the top, so that would make sense unless he loves running his mags upside down as well as his dump house. My man has three HPA tap mags here, it looks like. I do not see any more besides the little ones, so he's probably running extended mags. It makes sense if you're going to HPA tap your magazines that you want to run a longer mag. just makes sense because you're going to have to have a lot slower reload, and so you're going to want more rounds, obviously. So let's say he's running three of these, and it also looks like he has a Glock magazine of some sort. Alrighty, up first in lightning round with Alec Mac, we have his regular, just a basic amped airsoft regulator. I do love this pink line, it's awesome. I am the ultimate speed soft. <laughs> We do have his goggles as well for item number two. These are just Valken goggles if you want to switch it up and run a helmet or Valken goggles. He has a sling of some sort. He's also got a lipo charger here, which actually looks like a pretty decent one. It's an IMAX, looks like a puffy battery here. He's got a Streamlight TLR1. I do not know if this is real. If this is real, I actually may throw this on my Glock. Um, I don't know if it's real, like I said, but I will be doing some testing either way. I've heard really good things about this. I've been selling a lot of the Surefire repros and they're pretty nice, but it, this one looks pretty nice as well. And I know these are like the two best pistol lights on the market. My man also has a ton of patches. Looks like this has got sweet speed QB one right there. Call your BB hits. Um, some sort of little operator, airsoft evike. You got the good old Kraken Crytac and then BB Wars Origins, airsoftology. That's kind of cool. It's actually been a minute since I've seen a lot of cool patches, but I really like with this guy. This guy's got like the day noodles kind of goggle. You got your uh, American flag double there, the, the PVC one, and then the stitched one. Um, I believe this is like Airsoft something. This is like an Airsoft company logo, I think, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Lots of sweet patches. Up next in the side pouch, we do have, I believe these are spray painted Evike BAMF mags. Those have got to be spray painted. He's got a hundred there. You can definitely tell some of the kids that are speed softers. Welcome to the speed soft community where we have short guns. We have super cool charms. We got incredible uh, helmets. Um, we often get accused of cheating even when a lot of us aren't cheaters. Uh, I see you speed softers that are all getting accused of cheating when a lot of you guys are actually following the rules. But it's those few people that just, hmm, they ruin things. It honestly makes a pretty good bandana. Imagine doing this at an actual airsoft event where I'm running with this above my head and then I'm running goggles or something. Just an amped line. What do you think? New trend? New airsoft trend? Huh? I would perfectly overshoot you. <laughs> honestly, I'd overshoot me too. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this collection unboxing. I really enjoy unboxing your guys' collections. It's honestly so cool to see different people with different collections and different types of airsoft styles. I really like this, guys. You can definitely tell that it is a speed QB. I've never seen a charm on a gun before, but I actually love it because that rubber ducky ninja is hilarious. Uh, but this has been Alec Mac 101, and I will see you guys on next week's video. I love the little orange wrapping paper. I got this another one of... They're typical, aren't they?